Bring in Dr. Nirav Shah. He's chair of the Infectious Disease Committee of the Association of State and Territorial Health Officials. This is a group representing public health agencies uh, in all US states. And he joins us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, Dr. Nirav Shah, uh, so we're still waiting for this press conference uh, with President Trump and U.S. health officials from the CDC. But how serious is the administration taking this coronavirus outbreak, do you think? I mean, there are 50-plus cases we hear in the U.S., but there's, of course, a rapidly spreading global outbreak. Our view is that the United States Center for Disease Control has been working very aggressively and quickly ever since word of this virus first emerged coming out of China now over two months ago. What we're hoping to hear from the president this evening is a mention or a discussion of the vital role that state and local health departments across the United States play in managing this outbreak as it continues. Although this is a national situation, indeed an international one, the response to the outbreak really is played out at the local level by state health departments all across the country. For that reason, we're really hoping to discuss how those state health departments can continue to be supported. And of course, this is also about reassuring the American public, isn't it? But what is the risk to the U.S. public at the moment? What's your assessment, very quickly? Right now, the risk of the United States public remains low. However, as we all know, that situation is changing very, very rapidly. We urge everyone who's watching to make sure that they are checking reputable news sources on a daily basis, whether that's their state health department's website or the United States Centers for Disease Control for the latest information, because this is a fast-moving, dynamic situation. What we are doing at the state level is making sure that we are continuing our preparedness efforts. All 50 states have been working intensely for many weeks now to make sure that even though we don't hope the situation gets worse, no one wishes that. If it does, we are, be, we are, we are hoping to be as prepared as possible to contend with that. Uh, Dr. Shah, we know the White House is asking for $2.5 billion from Congress uh, to help fight the virus in terms of contingency funding. But yesterday, we saw U.S. health officials saying, look, there isn't enough medical equipment and infrastructure in place to deal with a major outbreak in the U.S. That's pretty worrying, though, isn't it? What we know is that more resources are going to be needed. We appreciate that the White House has initiated discussions around additional funding. We view their proposal as the floor. Uh, our view is that this initial gambit is a down payment, but that as this activation continues to stretch on, as it might at the state and local level for many weeks to months, we know that additional funding may be required. Again, we're grateful that the administration, administration has initiated those discussions. Now we need to make sure that the states receive the funding that they need to make sure that some of the items that you mentioned, supplies, resources, are readily available when this activation continues. Dr. Narav Shah, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for your time, sir.